China's government is strengthening supervision of labeling genetically modified food or MGOs. The debate over the safety of genetically modified crops has been going on for decades. And as Wang Liwan reports, China is adopting new regulations to reduce those disputes and to reassure people that GMOs are safe. Pejorative words like healthier and safer in advertisements for non-genetically modified products are now banned, according to a recent regulation from the Ministry of Agriculture. Genetic modification involves the mutation, insertion or deletion of genetic material from a naturally occurring food. The announcement has rekindled long-term security controversies over genetically modified organism or GMO products. I read on the internet that some beans and cereals are genetically modified and can have side effects on human health. But I'm not sure whether that is really true. I don't pay much attention to whether my food is GMO food, as long as it tastes good. Well, I know normally it's a much better quality uh, food. Um, normally the, it starts with uh, no chemicals on the production. Uh, so that's usually some kind of product I would, uh, I would buy for my family. GMO free labeling is now also forbidden if genetically modified versions of the foods do not exist. For example, some peanut oils in China are labeled GMO free, even though genetically modified peanuts have never been produced. An analyst from an agricultural firm says prejudicial advertising about GMO products is just a way of pandering to public opinion. Some domestic consumers are very negative about GMO products. Part of that can be attributed to lack of education on the part of the government. Consumers know very little about genetically modified organisms. In most cases, the aim is to introduce a new trait to the plant which does not occur naturally. Examples in food crops include resistance to certain pests, diseases or environmental conditions which reduces the need for chemical fertilizers and pesticides and improving the nutritional content of the crop. The process of genetic modification is a more effective way of expanding current gene resources. In the past, the genes of rice could only be transferred to another kind of rice. Now we can clone and transfer the gene for drought resistance in trees into rice crops. Professor Liu says there is broad scientific consensus that foods on the market derived from these crops pose no greater risk to human health than conventional food. Actually, in China, genetically modified products must go through five test stages and obtain safety certificates before they can be sold on the market. The whole process takes five to ten years. As the most populous country in the world, China faces great pressure to expand food supplies. In a speech released last month, President Xi Jinping said China needs to push forward GMO research, but should be prudent in popularizing GMO foods. Wang Lihuan, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.